Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. Yo, I have 10 of the scariest police footage caught by officers, man. Yo, this one is from King's Frostmare. It's going to be crazy, all right? I'm going to react to them. So let's do this. The following was captured and shared by a guard who believes that this particular night he captured something mysterious that was peeking out of an office building that he was patrolling this night and he was making contact to his co-workers to tell them that something doesn't seem quite right. Uh, can, you, can you see this thing? Yeah, it's still there. Okay. What's happening with the lights? Because I'm, dude, I'm looking the, 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 the lights are... And the, I can't see, like... I literally see nothing. The lights are off right now. Oh, it just moved. It just moved. It just moved. It just moved. I just heard a weird Dude, it just moved. A shadow can be seen on the fourth floor window before it suddenly disappears out of sight. You see that? It's quite intriguing how it just seems to vanish into thin air, leaving little room for speculation that this could have been a human intruder. I mean, it didn't vanish into thin air. It looked like it just pulled back to, from the curtain and stuff like that, if you ask me. Kind of it's in the guard's opinion. But what do you believe? Was it a ghostly entity that was visiting here? Peekaboo! <laughs> Peekaboo, what do you think? Now we want to take a look at a video which was captured by security of the police station in Carabobo, Venezuela. The officers state that in the last few nights, a mysterious person has been seen strolling around the station's parking lot. Of course, this is impossible since nobody would have access except authorized personnel. Tonight, it seems like this mysterious person popped up again. Or a criminal. Is that the ice cream chunk? Wait, was that headlights coming out of nowhere? Headlights and then uh, some smoke? I, I see something like right over, like right here. Like you see that, right? Right there. That's a um, like someone just a patient or something like that. A gown on. What you think is gonna happen? Is gonna disappear right when he gets there? What you think? What's strange is that the security guard who is checking after this weird thing doesn't see anything out of the ordinary that night, which makes many believe that something paranormal had unfolded here. Wait, hold up. That, that paranormal entity, it just ran away. Like, um... It just ran away and stuff. That That's just strange, man. I don't know what's up with that. What else can we explain this phenomenon? Pretty know. strange. Strange. Dive into the unsettling encounters of Security 1275, who is sharing his experiences during his nightly shifts as security guard at a local cemetery in Georgia. And there have been a lot of really creepy encounters taking place, to say the least. It all started with a random clip uploaded to his account, on which he was sharing some pretty eerie activity that he experienced as something seemed to be in the building with him. So, 
I'm actually hearing something banging on the door. I'm hoping I'm going to catch it soon. <laughs> Yo, if I hear banging on the door at night like that, I don't care if I'm working a job, security and stuff like that. I'm calling for backup. First and foremost, I'm not going to play no hero. Nope, I'm black, man. No. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. Um, okay, I'm back. Door was open again. Hello, security! And after sharing this encounter, Josh, the security guard, uploaded another recording in which we can see him on a routine checkup before encountering something really odd that night. Hey, kid! Kid! I don't know where he went. You already know where this is going. I'm not chasing no kids or anything in the middle of the night in the cemetery. This kid and running from me. Kid! Holy God. <laughs> <laughs> Went. Certainly not your usual security encounter. The kid refused to turn around and kept walking, only to just vanish entirely. Josh didn't know what to do at the time and let the encounter go. Although he was quite baffled, he never found out where the kid went, which is a pretty big mystery for sure. But the night was about to get stranger. This is supposed to be the most haunted cemetery in Savannah. And you work in there? You crazy. And I am chasing a kid right now. <laughs> I will not be going down that way. We just took this job like two days ago through the city. This is ridiculous. Somebody has definitely been walking behind me. Um, I'm not sure. I just saw some tourists from Ohio. Told them that the place closes at 10. I'm about to head back over there, but I don't know. We've got somebody that's going to be buried here tomorrow, so I'll be doing an escort. Right now, I'm just... You saw that, right? Black Cape Boy. <laughs> yeah, I see you. We see you. Josh. I'm going the opposite way, though. Completely missed this mysterious shadow at the time, and it was one of his viewers to point out its existence. The boy we saw earlier was still at large. However, it appears unlikely that he was the one that we are seeing here. Was yeah. it a ghost? Or perhaps somebody trespassing? No. Let's jump a few nights forward in which Josh was... That's the same damn boy. He just got a, a like a, a, a sheet over him. A black garbage bag or something. Let's take another update. Okay, I've got my taser out now, y'all, just to be aware. Now? <laughs> Yo. After this night, he was spooked out enough to not further document about all these strange encounters for a few nights. But he felt the need to pick his camera back up, as in this particular night, he was called up to check on one of his younger and new officers, who wasn't responding to his calls anymore. I was going to come by and check on him, and... I can't get him to answer the phone. So, this is a good time. If you see anything, this would be a good little video because I had no intentions of coming out here. Um, I went up and checked um, on the other side. I just don't know where the hell he's at. He's not answering his phone. So Can't find him? Oh, well. Time to move on. Go home, man. Um, I hope whatever the is messing with me in my older videos did not get him. I am, I was actually just gonna come by and check on him, make sure he was 10-4. But a funny story is, he said that he had PD out here earlier because he saw what looked to be a little girl was in the hallway when he drove by. When he went back, he didn't find anybody.
A bit strange for sure, but since his co-worker couldn't document any of this, some people say that it might have been just paradoia or his colleague getting a bit too nervous and starting to see and hear things, which... Nah, man. Forget all that. If you've seen it, then it is what it is, man. You gotta go home. You gotta get away. sound too outlandish to me. Anyways, we jump forward a few days until Josh updates us with the following material. What is going on? I'm basically just securing all this stuff right now. Um, just making sure there's nobody in here. Anybody in here? Hello? Can you help me? Hello? Can you help me? That's what the boy's saying. At least it's not nighttime. It's daytime. Feel a little bit safer. But mm, nah, that's creepy. Yeah, but listen, you gotta get out of here. You're gonna have to come talk to me, okay? He <laughs> said, you gotta get out of here. You wanna talk, you gotta get out of here. Where are you at? He's under you. <laughs> I can't see you. You're correct, so you need to come out, okay? You, you guys hear this? This is broad daylight. Mm -hmm. I don't know where this kid is. Where are you? This all had gotten so weird that Josh decided to file a police report about these incidents since he wasn't sure if somebody was playing pranks or maybe something more serious was going on. And apparently a police officer came and checked the area out himself. Based on Josh's story, the officer could capture some of this phenomena himself on body camera. But unfortunately, it hasn't been made public. So what is up you guys? Um... So my security officer that I'm supposed to have here tonight, he uh, came in and turned everything in today, he quit. So. Smart man, very, very smart man. I'm actually hearing something <laughs> banging on the door. I'm hoping I'm gonna catch it some of it. <laughs> Bear with me guys. That boy got anger problems. Um, okay, I'm back. Door was open again. Hello, security. Okay. I don't know how they keep opening these. Hello. Yeah. He just want to come and play with you, man. Go play with him. You looking for him all the time, every day now. Go play with the boy. Um. Hey, you need to come out. I'm not playing it. Nah, 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 nah. He could stay where he's at. You know what I'm saying? Let him stay there, okay? Just ignore it all. Go, go. He's not doing nothing to nothing, nobody, man. More. I don't know where these people are. Or where. Where these people are. It's a boy. It's only one boy. A ghost boy. Jesus Christ. All right, guys. Um, there was somebody standing in the corner. I just saw that when my video uploaded. And what? The lights are flickering on and off. Hang on a second, guys. So, don't know what's going on here, but I'm about He's having a blood party. Check this out. Okay, guys. I'm really not sure what's going on here. Nope. Yeah, I'm done. Um, this is some spoof <laughs> going on here. Um, <laughs> you finally done? You finally done? It took you, what, a week or something like that to get this through? Yo, you should have been left like the other officer, man. Nope. <laughs> this is why my security officer... Quit. Um, just so y'all can be witness here, I'm checking out. I'm getting the here. This is my day off. You came on your day off? Oh, I hear leaves crickling. 
there was a kid standing, somebody was standing right over here when I walked right past them to the left. <laughs> so what is going on, you guys? Um, I hightailed them down there. Um, don't know what the that was. There was absolutely no switches in that place to turn lights on. Um, uh -huh. Don't know why they were flickering. So right now I'm at the Jim Williams house. Whatever this haunting is seems to get stronger and stronger. However, Josh didn't upload any updates on this creepy activity for a few weeks after this, and it is suspected that he needed to take a little breather from all of this. The night of this recording, however, he had to share what he saw. So what is going on, you guys? There is a red truck out here. Um, and the uh, chapel lights just came on. Mm -mm. Hold up, I thought she was leaving. Like, go home, man. You're not getting paid enough for this, man. This is not in your contract. Hello? Hey, look, if you're just out here with me, you're fixing to end up in jail, you understand? So where are you? <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Done with it, man. Nope, 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 nope. Hell for the no, 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 no. Somebody's out here with me. Or this is some scary. I ain't doing this garbage no more. And this is where Josh's saga of all the paranormal encounters on the cemetery come to an end. Sadly, some say that he quit the job shortly after, while others think that he might have grown bored of staging all these videos. Yeah, like, to me, like, if you stage these videos, man, you're not gonna really quit, right? Like, come on, man. You did, come on. This is real, right? This gotta be real. I don't know about that. Well, whatever the answer, his case is one of the most infamous ones when it comes to eerie security footage, for sure, and rightly so. Yeah, he was probably bored, you know, he knew he was gonna, like, quit anyway, so he just started this, you know, try to go viral, I guess. What do you think? Oh, oh, this was captured by a security officer who was patrolling the San Francisco armory, and it would appear that something rather eerie unfolded this night. This is what I'm talking about, dude. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> he sound like a black person. See, that's what you do. Anything's crazy happening that you know is no one there except yourself, you leave. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I'm here in this building by myself, bro. By myself. <laughs> Yo. Y'all mad, I'm mad, I'm mad, he just staring there, he just, he got the camera, just staring right at it, not saying anything. Was it perhaps a ghost that is still roaming this old armory, or just a little breeze? Based on the officer's account, the doors are heavy and can't just be pushed open like that. So, we can only speculate in the end, if this was a ghostly encounter, or something more explainable. I mean, a lot of this stuff could be staged and stuff, but that was that's still a good one right there. You know, it's still creepy and stuff. I'm a good actor. <laughs> he was. He said, "Yo, I'm gone." More nightmares. 
during the activity. Now let's take another look at the case of security officer Tim Saber, who, after starting a new job and working the night shift, had experienced some pretty odd happenings at his new workplace. The storage facilities he was patrolling seemed to be home to a lot of paranormal activity. Why, however, is unknown. And this was one of the first really strange encounters that Tim had captured on his phone. Hello? What? Who goes there? Oh, hell no. Nah. I'm out. I'm out. Come on, man. You tell me all that just happened right there. Door opens, then slams on you. You're going to be mad quiet and not freak out. And you're going to just go right back to the door. I don't know about this one. feet can be seen in no one of the way. stalls. And what's interesting about this is that Tim stated that he didn't see them at first. Only after looking at the area for a few seconds did they manifest to the human eye. How eerie. After this incident, he was already extremely freaked out and he had to start recording these incidents now more and more. Look at those feet. Some skinny long feet with Yo, that looked like some, some type of like, I don't know, man. You think that's a setup? This is a setup? I mean, this was good. This was a good, like, that first time with the door shutting, I I was not believing that. But this time, it's pretty This sighting scary. was not an isolated one. In one instance, an ominous roar echoed through the halls. By a locker door swinging open on its own accord. These unexplained occurrences became his haunting reality. Drawn by mysterious banks, Tim's curiosity led him to an abandoned warehouse filled with an assortment of forgotten objects. Hello? Here the paranormal activity intensified. Is this the same night? This dude is all over the place with things happening everywhere. I would have been quick. Is that the fan on top? Whoa. A mannequin crashed to the floor, followed by the shattering of glass. The air grew heavy with a woman's cry and another spine-chilling roar. This is getting intense. Hello? Stop saying hello and just run in there and karate kick it. There. Hello? Come on. Many were certain that Tim had to deal with something demonic in this facility and that it had gotten quite dangerous for him. Is that somebody down there? 
Somebody was clearly standing at the end of the hallway, and based on Tim's reports, this was nothing human. That looked like a human to me. With a nice coat on, you know, like jeans, boots. I don't know, man. That's creepy. Another night? Are you serious? You're back for some more? More feet? What, what is that? Is that feet or, or some gorilla hands? Someone hanging? Hello? Yo, what was I don't know about this video, man, cuz dude dude is not really acting scared. Like it's like this is natural for him. Like this is an everyday thing to him now. Nah. like it came up behind me. This is Freddy Krueger movie. Uh, this is some horror flick, man. Now you pissed off at a mannequin. Nah, man. This, this Yo, he, nah, man. This is, this is, nah. I don't believe this. Here, Tim seems to have captured the arms and hands of a shadow being that wasn't stemming from our realm. He was so afraid that night that he had to give in his notice because he simply couldn't handle all of that any longer. And oh, so now you, now you quit after all that? Like, what, how many days was that? With all that creepy stuff happening? Come on, man. You can blame him. Last night shift at the facility. So Tim went on and documented his last night at this haunted facility, and he couldn't wait to finally put this extremely scary adventure behind him. But it seemed that during his last night, that during his last shift, whatever was living in those storage facilities wanted to make sure that he would never forget this night. That looked like a, like a, 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 a woman, you know, crouched down, right? That looked like a woman crouched down, like, like this, like sh maybe shivering cold or something like that. Yeah, definitely two legs I see right there. That's a woman. Oh, it moved. It moved. Right? It looked up a little A bit. woman's silhouette, yeah. more distinct than ever, sat in the corner as the female figure locked eyes with him. The recording abruptly ended, leaving us in suspense. The fate of Tim and the truth behind his encounters remain shrouded in uncertainty. The fate of Tim. We may never know the full story, and the final verdict rests in your hands. We see you. We see you. Yes, I see you. That looks like Michael Jackson. I mean, <laughs> let me stop. Rest your soul, Michael. That's what creepy. Abandoned car. 
The next clip was uploaded by Security98, who has done quite a bit of paranormal investigations on his channel. In this video, the uploader is driving down a quiet highway late at night, potentially working on another paranormal investigation when he comes across a vehicle parked on the shoulder of the road. He pulls up behind the car as he believes to have seen someone inside and wants to check that everyone is alright. However, when he gets out of his car and makes his way to the vehicle, there's no one in sight. What security didn't realize is that he actually did catch something terrifying. Yeah. right there nice car I saw somebody in the car I see nobody A disembodied hand can be seen, pressing against the glass of the car from the inside, and then it quickly disappears. No body or face can be seen in the car at all, and as we can notice, the car is definitely empty. Once security opens it up, no trace of a person is found, and it appears that the uploader did not notice the hand in the moment of filming. What explanation could there be for this video? That's creepy right there. That's a hand. It almost, it's almost like it's saying peace, you know, like, or, or, or the, or the whole palm is on the thing, like, help me. Wow. Yeah, what y'all think about this one? You guys think this is a legitimate ghost sighting? Or was it just a reflection from somewhere? Let from, me know. From where? Where's the reflection going to be from? Shadow. Activity. This was captured by another security officer who was told by an employee that they heard really loud and strange noises stemming from the dressing area of this old and at the time abandoned soccer stadium. So the guard went checking and saw something he could not really explain. <laughs> I hear it, but I'm not going down that stairs. No, no, no. Perhaps it's some late night construction that you wasn't aware of. Perhaps. Okay, you gotta bum rush that door, man. You gotta bum rush it. Bum rush it. That's oh. Yo, those, those coats are freaking me out, man. So leave, man. I was telling everybody else prior to leave, and they took their time to leave. Leave, leave. The guards didn't even notice that this shadow being seemed to be with him at the time, which makes all of this just so much more creepy. Many say that this shadow being could have been responsible for all of this. Is happened. this plausible? What the hell? What you thought about that, man? That was creepy. That that was a good one, though. I don't know what to say, though. That that was creepy, though. The following officer is working night shift in an old hospital and is pretty certain that the ghosts of former patients are roaming the hallways, since ever so often, things are moving around, even when nobody seems to be close to them.
See? See, I... Oh, no, 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 no. So, could this have been a ghostly entity that was pushing the wheelchair? Or how else do we explain this? I don't see no strings on it or nothing like that. That, that, let's see, let's see this. Hold up. No, 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 no. I gotta see that again. Hold up. Let's see if we see anything on there, but I don't see no strings. We explained this. Nah, I don't see nothing there, man. That was a good one. Haunted. The following so security much. guard states that other staff has been seeing strange shadow sightings in this grocery store for quite some time now, and that nobody could ever really explain this phenomenon. It happens so frequently that staff are already joking about the shopping shadows they see. And tonight, the guard seems to have captured the aliens. Activity on camera. in the supermarket all by himself with all that food he's not a cop right the security or nothing like that what is he doing there man was he going there for an overnight snack perhaps <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. I'm laughing because he sees something from a distance. You could tell the way you look at it. But he ain't moving. He ain't walking towards what he see. That's a smart man. Let's see if he keeps it like that and run right out. Ya lo vi otra vez. A veces se alcanza a ver. No, me da miedo. Damn it. Come on, man. I was just bigging you up and you're gonna do the most stupidest thing. The black thing. What black thing? Oh, right there. Right there, I think. Right there. There clearly is a dark silhouette walking in the aisle in the background. And if it wasn't another staff member or customer, do we what? have to believe that this one is one of these shadows that the man was telling us about in the beginning? How eerie. That looks crazy. <laughs>